In order to appreciate where we're going, I have to show you all where we started. A few days ago, December the 19th to be exact, I uploaded my full wash day routine, shampooing, conditioning, blow drying, and flat ironing my natural hair. And my sister Boom gave me a haircut. I curled my hair and I maintained it looking real cute for a few days until it rained on the same day that I decided to go to the mall. And this happened. It's raining, my natural hair ran off. So after walking around in the mall looking crazy, I went home, put a few flexor rods in my hair, and I saved the day. And I'm going to show you all exactly how to do the same thing, even if it's not a rainy day. Because a lot of you all have been asking me how I got these curls, and now I'm going to show you how. It's a rainy day in Memphis today. The mall that we were at is like an outdoor type of mall. Um, I did have an umbrella, but of course that does not matter. It's just the fact of the moisture being in the air getting into your hair. Had I left home a little more prepared, I probably would have took like a conditioning cap or actually even just left my flexi rods in, but that's neither here or there. I just want to show you all how I'm going to attempt to save this style because I know most people might think that their hair is basically ruined at this point and it's not like if you get close you can see the frizz I was actually in the mall we went to wolf chase after that <laughs> so I was in the mall looking like this so I'm basically gonna put in some oil and just put some rollers in my hair I'm gonna use more than what I would use if my hair was not messed up for the style that you all have been seeing I probably use about half the rollers just to maintain that because when you fluff it it gives you full curls anyway but since it's frizzy like this I'm gonna need more than what I would normally use. Smaller sections will give me more definition to correct the frizz without using heat. Fingers crossed, that's what I'm hoping happens. This is bringing back old days of me being in here doing my hair. This, well, not in here, but I used to do my hair in my bathroom a lot on my YouTube channel when I lived back home with my parents. I'm gonna go heavier than what I would need to. That'll help to bring my curls back. What I may do is just kinda go heavy with the product, but then sit underneath a hooded dryer. That's indirect heat. It's different from actually putting heat on your hair. It's kind of like being outside and it's hot. If hot air is blowing past your hair, it like blows past it. But when you take any kind of tool, you're actually touching your hair with it. So, see how that helped that? Lots and lots of oil. Just gonna brush out the section because that'll also help me to get the product through it. Just put the roller on it. Which way I wanna go? Let's go inward like this. Any type of oil or serum that you have will help you to fix your hair this way. Uh, this is me speaking in the present tense of hoping my hair gets fixed, obviously, because I haven't saw how it's going to turn out yet. By rolling this towards my face, that'll also kind of push up on the root a little bit. I'm going to do like a roller set, sort of. I can edit this easier if it's not too much talking. This is the serum I'm using. So this is the Pantene Intense Go Hydrating Oil. You can use any oil of your liking. My hair likes this oil, so I'm using this one. Put some music on and zone out. This hairstyle is super easy and it doesn't require any additional heat. Take a medium sized section, brush that through to remove the tangles, and you want to work your serum all over that specific section. Then you want to take your flexi rod of choice and begin rolling your hair around that, making sure that the ends are smooth and in order to secure them in, you roll the hair on top of itself. That's what holds the hair in place. Fold your flexi rod in the opposite direction and you're good to go. Take another section, brush it through to detangle, take your serum of choice and apply that to the hair or just directly to the ends if you would like and brush that through. Take your flexi rod, if you still have a little bit of your curl left, and you're able to see which direction your curl was going, you can follow that. If not, just apply the roller depending on the way you want your curls to fall. I'm gonna take a decent amount of the hair serum, probably more than what the packaging may suggest because I know that my hair is frizzy and I don't want to have to use heat to get this style to come back. I'm gonna just take another medium sized section and roll my ends over the hair, roll my ends over the flexi rod and then use my own hair to hold that in place and I'm going to fold the flexi rod in the opposite direction to secure it for the remainder of the night. Just by using the serum and brushing my hair through very well, I don't need heat to correct like the frizz that's in my hair. I don't need heat to bring my curls back. I don't even need heat to help me straighten my hair back out. The flexi rod and the serum combo is going to do that for me. I know I'll get tons of questions about the flexi rods, the color of the flexi rods, the brand of the serum. Can I use this? Can I use that? More important always to me is the technique that a person uses, not necessarily the products. So even if you have the orange flexi rods, the purple ones, whatever color, whatever diameter, that'll be good enough for you to do this same style Take with. Take a serum of choice that you love. If it has claims of straightening out the hair, uh, silking out the hair, then it'll be a good Thing to use. If you love it, if it's in your stash, reach for that. My lover, my lover. 
baby. Oh my, you make me drive me crazy just for me, baby. Feel the same way. I know I'm gonna always choose to be with you. Whatever you decide, you just want to choose a product that will give you some weightless, heatless curls. I chose this intense hydrating oil. It absorbs into the hair very well and it adds a nice shine. Since this product is weightless, it's going to give me a fluffy result with my curls, but my hair won't be oily. Since I have natural hair, this is the best option for getting heatless curls. Even if you don't have natural hair, this is a quick and easy way to get curls in your hair without using a straightening iron, a curling iron, any form of direct heat, just by using your flexi rods. As far as deciding your product of choice, if you are natural, I would not recommend using a moisturizer because moisturizers do have water in them which will probably revert your natural hair but if your hair is relaxed then you could definitely probably do like a moisturizer or on top type of combo it's only been about 10 minutes I'm on video chat with Boom, and I was like look what I just did to fix my hair I just want to come back and show you all how just in 10 minutes I just fixed my hair but obviously when you let it sit overnight it's going to pull tighter than this um, and in order to really bring my hair back all the way that's what i need for it to be really really tight because it falls throughout the day anyway and yeah what's over destiny probably already said this but the more oil you use basically you're putting back all of the oil that the humidity and the rainy day stripped from your hair and that's what will bring your curls back without you using heat and now here we are two days later you don't have to let your flexi rods sit for two days uh since i didn't go anywhere the previous day i just decided that it was pointless to remove my rollers so yeah you can just put these in go to sleep and you have nice shiny fluffy curls that are very lightweight heatless most important part i used about nine flexi rods the reason that i have the purple ones towards the back um, I just kind of mixed up my placement and then the purple ones are a little larger which will give me more length in the back to not like pull my hair too tight. So just play around with different things like that to see what you get. I'm going to finger style my hair to my liking, fluff it using the wide side of a comb and that's pretty much how I get this style. Overnight, reapply the flexi rods. They don't have to be in the exact same spots or anything. Don't overthink this process at all. Just throw the rods in there, apply serum when needed and that'll help you to maintain this style. Wow, I really beat my face, wow. I don't got no highlight yet and I may not put any on. Probably gonna put my lashes on, but I don't know. I don't like to do the most when I'm just chilling around my family. I may just do mascara. Put lashes on for a picture or something. So that's how you bring your curls back. Wide side. So now when it's humidity in the air, I basically just have enough serum back in my hair to um, withstand it. The fact that my natural hair is doing the same thing my relaxed hair used to do. OG subscribers may remember when I used to do my roller sets like the with the large magnetic rollers and then I would get this similar style. So if you want to try this on wet hair and you have relaxed hair, that's a way of doing it. And then when you wrap your hair, you'll have like a super cute roller wrap. I don't have anything in mind. I'm just seeing what my hair is doing and just letting it do that. But kind of guiding it at the same time. I'm really winging this. Before my hair was relaxed, I used to wear flexi rod curl styles like this. But whenever I do my hair, or I guess whenever anybody does their hair, they just try to see what their hair wants to do and follow that. I can't decide if I want to like pull. Oh yeah, okay. I know where my edge brush is, so I'm gonna just use the spoolie. I don't want to get it in my ends. I'm gonna have to find my edge brush. I need it. It's the curls for me, love. This looks so good. And there's so many different ways you can style these curls, actually. But I just want it to hang in my face. I'm just playing around with it to see what I like. I'm feeling this. Just with my extra earrings for the holiday, you know. Need I remind you, a quick before and after. I'm gonna leave it like this. Kind of like messy curly. I like that vibe. It's a look. If it ain't, it's finna be. But I really think it already is. I just gotta put my lashes on. Have to with this look to make it more extra. Trying to make sure it shapes me. Yeah, we're good. 
And voila, there we have it. It's the heatless curls for me, love. Uh, that's pretty much how I get my hair to look like this. I've been getting questions about it. Y'all been really complimenting me on it in the previous video, as well as on Instagram Live the other night. So yeah, that's how I got this style. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. I will link the products that I use in my description box for you all. Don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free to do so. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. use a pick to do this if you're going to pick through your hair you see that i'm not combing to disturb the curls i'm just more so combing through the roots style it to your liking i just pinned one of my sides up with the hairpin since i didn't want both sides down just kind of framing my face a little bit and that is pretty much the finished result you can keep running your fingers through it pretty much i could just play with these curls all day but <laughs> that is pretty much the finished result and there are so many different styles that you can do with these curls stay tuned and subscribe so that you won't miss my next video